Good morning. Uh, Mr. Rubin, yes. how are you doing today? Uh, not well, doctor. Not well. What happened? What brings you here? Uh, I've been having difficulty. i having trouble to open and close my mouth for the past few days. Really? So which side is uh, having problem? Uh, when I open this side, especially this side. if it's small. It's small. Yeah. So is it like you're able to not open completely? Uh, yes. I can open partially where mm. when I try to open fully, it the, hurts. It hurts. Is yeah. this the first time you're having this problem or have you had this before? I've had uh, several times but none of it is as worse as oh, this, this okay. time. Oh, okay. So can you tell me uh, roughly since how many days are you having this problem? Uh, first, the pain started around like for around Monday like four uh-huh. days ago but then uh, after now already the fourth day that I have this pain mm. and it's getting uh, worse and worse each day. Worse. So that is why I came to meet you today. Okay. So if I can ask you, like, um, h- how did it start? Do you uh, remember any specific, um, you know, uh, like you m- either had a fall on that side or you ate something very hard and you or you got hurt on that side? Do you recollect something like that? Uh, I didn't feel any uh, nothing such a day happen like that. It's mm. just suddenly one day just started. Suddenly one day it started. So um, <coughs> on a scale of zero to ten, how bad is your pain? Uh, first it started is what was around three to four. I still could manage, mm-hmm. but now it's already become close to seven to eight. Oh eight. right, okay. So that means so, it's getting yeah. worse. Yeah, it's very painful. Okay. I couldn't eat properly. Have you noticed any swelling on that side? Uh, I've been holding, it's not swelling, it's just when I just op- It's just painful when you're yeah. opening. Right. So, um, if I may ask you, that, do you feel any noises when you open your mouth? Uh, you yes, I do feel like it's like crick something. Some kind of yeah. noise on that side. So then can you point out to the area exactly where you're having pain? Uh, here mostly. Okay. Uh, open it. It, it's hurting. So now let me just go back to you and ask you about yourself. W- what do you do? Uh, I'm just a student, a mm-hmm. final year student studying, uh, preparing for my exams. So, so I'm about to sit for my final exam. Okay, so, I just so, so do you feel that the exams are getting worried about the exams? Uh, a bit. A bit, yes, of course, understandable. So um, do you have, are you sleeping well? Uh, some days I might not sleep well because I study yeah. until too late night. So okay. if I might have to sleep at one, two, or maybe sometimes three o'clock, oh, okay. and then wake up and go to classes. Right, I understand. So do, do you have you? I just want to ask you some more questions regarding this. Have you noticed that you clench your teeth or you grind them at night? Uh, I, my yeah, I, so I usually sleep with my brothers, mm. and they notice that when I'm sleeping, I like. I have to have ah, it okay. So, so during the daytime also do you see that you're consciously clenching your teeth? Let's say you're stressed about something. Uh, so far no one actually said anything. Huh. They mostly mostly is my um, siblings and my parents mm-hmm. when they say when I sleep. Yeah, you I You tend to clench your uh, Oh, okay. So <coughs> is the pain worst when you wake up in the morning? Uh this pain? Yeah. Uh yes. Because and then during the day does it is the pain still there? Is it? Yeah, is the pain was still there continuously. Continuous pain. Yeah. And that means you're always having some kind of dull pain. Yeah. So did you do you like uh, do you categorize it as a dull pain or like really sharp pain or just like? You know, uh, it's like just like feeling numb like that. Like numb that. kind of dull kind yeah. of pain. That means it's constantly troubling you. Yeah. Okay. So um, I will need to do some examination. Okay. Okay. To look at you further. And then after we've done the examination, we just we maybe need to do, we will decide whether we need to take uh, radiographs. Okay. All right, to sec- check what is uh, happening. So. Uh,
way what we feel that is actually there is a very um, small problem is nothing to be really worried about right so we try to palpate your muscles on that side as well as the joint the muscle seems sore okay but there is some noises from the joint right so but it's all related to uh, stress on that side so it could be because you have been consciously or subconsciously clenching your teeth because of which the joint and the muscles are fatigued so um we call this as a temporomandibular joint disorder but it is not something that you need to get very worked up about it will heal um after you have taken precautions and some medication that i will prescribe for you but there are some important instructions which i want you to take note of first of all uh i i want you to avoid getting worried or concerned about how you are uh of that side so don't constantly keep uh chewing um uh, only on one side balanced on both sides right so uh avoid always noticing that your teeth are you know contacting each other or you're having a problem there so you need want you to take your mind off it um don't keep checking and testing your jaw like when you're driving or when you're um working or when you're looking uh, listening to a lecture or a class uh, don't stress on the jaw don't put up your hands and put a lot of stress on that jaw right so we want you to um uh, you know always don't keep on testing that area like you know keeping your tongue at the back of the teeth and checking we want you to modify your diet just for a couple of days for this week try to avoid um foods which want which might you might have to chew a lot like uh, avoid eating very hard substances for example uh, uh, nuts on that side especially avoid eating foods which are very chewy and sticky right uh don't chew gum till the pain reduces right um and don't try to open excessively right so for example uh, avoid foods like a whole apple instead cut it into pieces and eat it which would not allow you to open uh, completely then um, like i said uh, avoiding certain postures like you know uh, leaning or cupping the chin with your arms while or, or while sitting down on the table or dining during uh, you know when dining uh, and don't sleep on your stomach right so that the pressure is on that uh, jaw that side and uh, in case you're going for dental treatment avoid uh, opening for too long maybe you can inform your uh, dentist that uh, that you had problems that side and so they will avoid long uh, appointments also support your jaw when you are yawning okay. so that you don't uh, uh, subconsciously open very well um we will recommend you to do um um massage that side on occasionally at home right uh, also we want you to apply cold compress and alternatively um hot fermentation on that side that means uh, we want you to apply uh, cold compress with the help of ice or an ice bag uh, for about 10 to 20 minutes give a break and then use hot fermentation with the help of a towel that is dipped into warm water squeeze out the water and apply it on that entire jaw the muscle on that side and uh, the area right so i will be putting you on some medication uh, and you will see that there is improvement i want to reassure you that you're not having any problem it will subside and your x-ray also looks okay right so i will see you in a week's time okay. right to check on you uh, how you are doing Uh, should there be any need you can always call me okay. right thank you thank you